Bridget Barker stopped smoking 15 years ago. Even so, when she was invited by her GP to take part in Europe's largest lung cancer screening study, she jumped at the chance. And just as well, her scan revealed very early signs of lung cancer, early enough to be cured. When they came around and told me that I wouldn't need to have any chemo or radiotherapy, I mean, what more could you ask for? It, it really was like winning the lottery, and a big lottery. <laughs> Bridget was part of the Summit trial based in North and East London, which is screening 25,000 former or current smokers. So you can stretch your arms up above your head now. As well as a lung health check, participants have a low-dose CT scan of their lungs. The objective is to see if targeted screening is a cost-effective way of fighting Britain's deadliest cancer. The 25,000 people that we uh, hope to scan, we should detect about six to 800 lung cancers, the majority of which will be very early stage. Uh, and those people will be sent on to the hospital very quickly and hopefully have curative treatments such as surgery or radiotherapy. In a separate trial, NHS England has begun lung health checks in 10 pilot areas across the country. The aim is to screen as many as 600,000 smokers or former smokers between the ages of 55 and 74. Checks should detect around 3,500 cancers early, potentially saving hundreds of lives a year. The London trial is different, though an NHS study is being funded by a US company investigating a blood test for cancer. Such tests are some years away, but being quick and easy could transform cancer survival, because caught early, it can be cured. Everybody who's a next smoker, it doesn't take long and 99% of people will be fine. Bridget Barker's cancer would almost certainly have killed her. Acting on a letter from her GP saved her life. Tom Clark, ITV News.